welcome back to the next video so in today's video i will show you how to store data uh, securely in your uh, ios keychain and in android key store without any third party library for your flutter application so first of all i have created a default flutter application inside lib i will go to main dot dart and here you can see i have created a, a stateful widget uh, for now i have created this method channel so method channel help us to communicate from dart to the native side and make sure uh, you name this uh, uh, appropriately like uh, this string would be used on both dart side as well as on the native side so make sure you are using it properly and here i have defined some variable and i have defined three buttons one is to save the data so here you can see i am calling the method channel dot invoke method and we have to define this method save data on both android and ios side and for save data we will be passing some data from dart side to the native side to save to save it on keychain as well as on key store next i have a get a button a get button as well to get the data so i am calling the get data method from the keychain and last is to delete the data so i am calling the delete data method as well uh, so this is from the dart side uh, the next for android side what we can do is we can go to app src main uh, android manifest uh, i don't think we require any changes we can go to kotlin main activity dot kt and inside here like uh, so first of all if you want to understand how the android key store works in detail uh, you might want to refer uh, Philip Lackner's uh, video like he's a popular YouTuber who runs uh, Android uh, like videos on Android development so I have just copy pasted this code from his uh, YouTube video so here I am like this is defining a key store and these are like what are the algorithms which we will use for uh, encrypting our data inside the key store and this is our file name where uh, the data would be stored and this file would be stored inside the internal storage of our app so no other app would be able to access it and this is like uh, we are defining the key store over here we are defining a cipher and this is the channel result to send back a result from flutter to the dart side and here you can see uh, first of all you have to define this method configure flutter channel and i have defined this method channel and this should be the same string what you have defined it on the dart side and inside this i have defined a few methods first is save data next is get data and this is delete data again this const uh, string should be same as what you have defined it on the dart side uh, before that inside uh, go to your build.gradle and make sure you add this dependency so this is important because we would require access to uh, uh, because we would require access to the lifecycle uh, scope uh, to run uh, suspending function which is coroutines so again go to main activity and here when save data is called we are calling the stored password method uh, again uh, this is how we are uh, fetching the uh, data which we are sending it from dart side to the native side so again we are we were sending the data uh, the actual string inside a variable called dart so again make sure this string is same as to what you have defined it on the dart side and then we are calling store password if it is called get data we are calling get stored password and you did delete data we are calling delete file else uh, result not implemented <clears throat> now uh, first we have to create a key so this is how we will create a random key next we have to create this get decrypt cipher for iv so we can just return cipher dot get instance and uh, initialize the cipher for decryption mode uh, this is for getting the key if no key is present then we are creating a key uh, this is the code for uh, encrypting uh, data and this is the code for decrypting the data uh, this is the code for deleting the file again I i'm sorry about it like i'm going through this quickly but yeah if you want more detail definitely check out philip lackner's video on it and this is how we get the stored password and to store the actual password here yeah, you can see i'm say, saying the pa sending the password again this can be used to uh, encrypt any kind of data not just password kind of data okay so this is how we are uh, storing the password and encrypting it storing it inside the file and sending the result back as to to the dart side 
so yeah this is for android and for ios you can go to runner app delegate dot swift and first you have to uh, so again i have copied this code from a youtube channel called ios academy so he has a in-depth video on how to uh, do uh, how to use the keychain service for ios to store uh, any kind of a data so first i have defined this url uh, service and give uh, it as whatever name you want then the account name whatever name you want then uh, we need the uh, controller and here this string should be the same to what uh, what we have defined it on the native uh, on the dart side otherwise you might get issue now we are calling each and every method so for if save method data method is called we are calling the save password method again this should be same as what you have defined it on the dart side if it get data is called get password and if delete data is called delete password now yeah regarding the implementation uh, save password calls the save method get password like this is how you can fetch your data from the uh, keychain and this is how you can delete the data from the keychain and to save the data yeah this is how it works like sorry even i am not sure about this uh, but yeah again if you need more uh, uh, explanation you can check out ios academy's video and this is how you can get the data so yeah i think uh, that should be it uh, thank you for watching bye